Hi coaches. So you are absolutely missing out on bigger paychecks and bigger impact with for other people and for yourself and your own family if you're not doing this. And I'm standing in the yard of the house that I bought in cash from these bigger paychecks, from the impact that I've created with a lot of other people. This is one particular activity that I did that was crucial in being able to do all this, okay? And here's what it is. Um, think about your audience. You're in health and wellness. You want people who are attracted to health and wellness and just simply living a better life. So what I like to do is I like to learn and teach every day. There's not very many people doing it, but there are some people doing it. And if you're not doing it, then the few that are that are out there doing it like me are taking business from you and they're taking your ability to provide impact and value to other people from you. So you need to start learning and teaching every day. So it's pretty easy. Health, wellness, financial freedom and all those things, there's endless training resources about it. You could go to so many different places and learn about it. So here are some of the places I like to go to to learn about that stuff. My favorite is probably going to be to go and uh, like for example, I just went to a health, healing and happiness weekend conference in Las Vegas. Health, healing and happiness. Great name. And it's totally consistent with the name. I learned from so many people there who are teaching us about health, healing and happiness and in doing it in ways that's very unique and very different. So everybody knows like, you know, common things like eat five meals a day. You could teach eat five meals a day, but everybody already knows that. So I'm learning things with a different spin, different you know things that people just haven't heard before. Like for example, I just did a video looking at my notes from Health, Healing, and Happiness. And I was looking, I took pages and pages and pages. I've, I've got enough notes to furnish 100 videos easily just from that one conference. So in this particular one, I was looking for something that just lit me up and I was like, oh yeah, mushrooms. Mushrooms, um, what I learned, mushrooms and raspberries uh, find abnormal cells in the body and gets rid of them and mushrooms in particular does not allow the body to grow fat cells or tumor cells according to Dr. Joel Furman, MD. And so I made a video about that, a short little, I did a live feed even better because uh, Facebook will show, uh, will, will give you more exposure for live feeds even over videos, but recorded videos are great too. So I did something really quick about that and I kept the title consistent with the content in the video where I was teaching what I learned about mushrooms and I cited Joel Furman because when you're talking about health things, you can't make any claims like this is going to cure you of disease. No, I, I, I just said in my video, here's what I learned. The, the notes that I took from Dr. Joel Furman, MD. This is what I learned from him according to Joel Furman. Da, 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 da. And I went on onto the mushrooms and stuff so I can't be sued for making a false claim because I learned it from Dr. Joel Furman. And you can also add the disclaimer, you know, take personal responsibility, do your own research if you decide to try anything mentioned in this video. Um, and then at the end of your videos, you could just keep a short, simple call to action. Like at the end of all of them, what I like to say is please share this video. You've got friends who would love the info in this, I'm sure. And if you love health and wellness like I do, and you're sincerely interested in learning how to make money by perpetuating health and fitness instead of managing sickness and poverty, privately connect with me. And then I do that, I put the videos out there and I get people that want to know but they privately connect with me. And then from there, I can share with them what I'm doing and see if it's a fit for them. So going to you know, weekend conferences might be one thing. Another way you can learn about stuff um, that you could teach is do uh, YouTube searches and do Google searches do different keywords and, and toy around with the keywords, get some interesting spins on things that people already know, something that challenges people's beliefs about what they think they know, um, something that solidifies what people think they know but with an interesting spin on it so that your videos are just more attractive instead of the same old, same old eat healthy food because it's healthy for you, right? And with just a little bit of creativity and imagination, you can find some interesting things to talk about because it's endless. Um, another place, you could go to a library and, and you can pick up some books or you don't even have to really pick up any books. You could just sit there and thumb through some pages, make some little notes in a notebook about things you're looking at and you don't even have to walk home with a book. You can just get some talking points, some ideas that way. Uh, so that's another thing you can do. Um, when you're at the, the checkout at the, at the grocery store, there's always magazines lined there and the copywriters for those magazines, you know, writing the ad copy, they're paid thousands or millions of dollars to come up with those ad copies because they're very good at what they do. And you can get tons of ideas just from the ad copy that you see in those magazines there. Maybe flip through something, there might be 10 best ways to lose 
uh, belly fat by this summer or whatever the, the case may be and then you look at that and you start jotting down those 10 ways and maybe you could do one video that has the 10 ways or you can do 10 videos in the course of 10 days one video a day where you do just one of those ways for 10 days right that's the whole thing and at the end of every one of those videos you can have your call to action at the end please share this if you got some value you got some friends and family that would like the info in this video and if you are interested and you love health and fitness like I do and you're sincerely interested and blah 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 do your call to action at the end of that then all of those videos and now you got these videos that are perpetuating and videos isn't your thing and do blogs do Facebook status update posts do whatever it is that you like to do um, I think live feed videos are the best and just do it consistently on a daily basis and the proof is in the pudding I did that and I sucked at first, so you have to be willing to be not any good at it and you just get better as you do it. The only way to get good at it is to get started. You don't have to be great to get started, but you gotta get started and do it consistently to be great. And you'll build up traction over time and people will start asking you about what you're doing and you'll be teaching, you'll be giving all this value for free, doing tremendous value for free. And then you build up credibility with people because you're giving away so much usable knowledge and info for free and they hear this call to action and they start to get to know you a little bit because you're adding your own little personal flavor, your own nuance, so they feel like they're getting to know you as a person in the meantime and you're building credibility and eventually people start reaching out to you because they start to like you, know you personally and trust you and you're building credibility and they start asking you about what it is that you're doing and then you can refer to the trainings here. If you don't know where they're at, let me know because they're all over the place and, and you can work them through the process of how to correctly share information with people to see if what we're doing is a good fit for them. Pretty cool deal, okay coaches? So if you're not doing this, you are missing out and other people will take all that business from you, I promise. So don't let that happen. Be involved, be engaged, and learn and teach something every day. It could just take you a few minutes a day of doing a little bit of something every day. And then as you have more time that opens up for you, you can do more than a few minutes. Like you can do an hour a day or a few hours a day. As more time opens up for you, you got more freedom of time because we're building passive and residual income. That's the key income to making the, all of this work so that you can have this massive catalyst in your life uh, open up all these beautiful options for you by building residual and passive income. You can buy a house in cash if you want or pay down your house so that you no longer have a mortgage or a car payment and do whatever the heck you want with your time because you got freedom of time and that's what we're all working towards. So if you're not learning and teaching every day then I don't know what you're doing. You're probably going to be a slave wage forever so don't do that okay. So thanks coaches and well, hi Lisa. Nice to see you. I'm just now ending this video, but it's nice to see you just before I finish. But uh, you'll be able to go back and click play once it's posted to the to our group. So bye everybody. Take care. Oh, and my website, TomBurkemeyer.com. Endless trainings there, TomBurkemeyer.com. Bye for now, everybody, and share this with your teams, okay?